Here's what I learned from Quincy Jones about avoiding creative burnout as a creative business owner. The worst thing that happened to me was to make a record that they say, okay, these people over here like this, these people here like this, they like that, and I go do that, and then they don't like it. And I don't like it either. That's a disaster. No. I want to get something I love, you know. You know, being a creative business owner is incredibly challenging because you're trying to line up creating things that you love and trying to also sell those things to your audience. And a lot of times I think that as creative business owners, we get caught up in just the selling, right? Just the top line revenue of trying to make sure that we pay all our expenses, you know, make sure we pay ourselves and the pressure of that can be overwhelming. The more that you focus on your creative process and you doing what you love, the more opportunities you're going to find whenever you actually push that message out there and that artwork out there for people to find, the, the better chances you're going to have of actually creating revenue from something that you love rather than creating revenue out of something that you don't love. And I think that's the trap that a lot of artists easily fall into.